my gosh, I've already started um, just bending the PVC piping conduit uh, for the electrician. I'll show you guys here on top what I've done so far. It's a bit complicated because I'm not doing a normal ceiling like most houses are done where you got your rafter and your ceiling is actually below it so it's very easy to run your conduit. So here's the main DB box or power supply uh, isolator box. Um, South Africa we call it a DB box. Okay, and they all come out over there, the teeth. All the lippies from each and every one. Use as many as you can use what comes out of here. Like I've done there as much as possible. The extra areas and each and every one should take at least five lights and plugs come to one isolator. And what I do usually, I don't know if you can see over there on my piping, I write there plugs on it, or I put a P on it, and then I write there where that pipe eventually goes to. So when I do my writing in the DB box over here, to make it easy when the electrician pulls the wires and connect them, we know which line of wire goes with what isolator, so you don't get confused. It's always nice to keep a track. Uh, which ones goes where so you don't have complications later just make your job easier so yeah i have to pull him through there lift up the the roof a little bit push it through there very complicated and then i also use like you guys can see there up there a little clamp metal clamp and a little, little self-tapping screw on it it's just to keep my the conduit under the line so it doesn't hang. Um, I showed guys I have to do another one over there so I'll show you example what I talk about hang. Like example that mustn't be like that. So it hangs. So, so I still have to sort that out. But while I'm here you'll see each and every um, where the wires are splitting or um, I would say a bridge like that looping you put one of those and yeah they got um, only that top what I have to use here in South Africa with much smaller ones so they're using um, plugs and light switches little 2x4 PVC um, boxes so that light will be in one circuit over there I've run all across to the next one now it goes down in down into the wall to over there and then we go up again and it goes along here to the next one that goes all along across in the roof to the next room with your pantry and there's one plug over there then it goes up over there got a 90 bend it goes all along through there and top and then it's a little bit difficult to bend because I don't have a, a spring bender to bend it when you put in your pipe. I bought the wrong one from Amazon. I needed a half inch. Um, yeah, I thought it would be the one I bought is a bit too big. But anyway, it goes through there, all along there, all along to there, and it goes all the way down there, neatly into my pipe. So later stage, I'll cable tie those ones together and keep them positioned so they're all nice and done when, I, when all the electrical wires are together. So the runs of everything very neatly. Um, and then I've got another one running. I'll show you a few. And it runs all along, like I said. To there, it splits, goes down to that one over there and it splits again because it goes into this room over here who feeds that plug over there and then it's split over there I continue with my clamps you can see over there there into that box over there then it splits again so you've got one pipe 
will go down to this plaque here. That's why I saw two. And then another one come all along across to there. And I still need to open it because you plastered it close. Uh, things what that frustrate you a lot. But anyway, there's another one here, somewhere here. I have to figure out where it is. He plastered it close. I'm really disappointed in that certain things, you know, where people just have no care attitudes. I had to cut this all open, not done yet. Here's the plugs. So it looks a bit neater there. I've done a few over here as well. Like there, like there, like there. I had to cut them all open. All of them open. I mean, this one is totally close. I started here and I stopped. Uh, well, actually, I haven't even started there. I just took a small piece out there. That's nothing, the paper. So, yeah. And that. So, yeah, I have to sort it all out. And probably will cross the everything close again, that one too. Okay. So, that's all you guys can see what I've done so far. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the lines from there across that way to go all along that way. And the thing is, it does take time. So, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to do two lines of concrete. Um, one is going to pull this one right across to here. Do a little box like this over here, here. Goes all along to the front patch here, the lights. And then I'm going to do my next one, I'll shift it from here to there. And I'll pull to the lights here, there, and my lounge, and my breakfast nook. Thank you. 